Hello. No, I'm not gonna put that up. I'm back with more Mass Effect. Um, I'm back on the ship after being on the moon. I wanted to talk to Tally real fast. Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million Quarians in the flotilla, and each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials. In practice, the Conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. I want to know more about the Geth. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. It's been almost three centuries since they drove my people into exile. All I know is the story of their origins. What they were when we created them, and how they turned on us. Interesting. Tell me the more. The Geth were originally created to serve as an automated manual labor force. Initially, their intelligence was as limited as any VI. Over time, we made small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks bringing them closer and closer to true AI status. How come the Council didn't step in and stop you? This wasn't true AI research. We may have been skirting the bounds of the law, but we never did anything that was actually illegal. The changes were so insignificant, so gradual, that we were able to control them. Or so we thought. But one thing we underestimated was the power of the neural network. A million Geth thinking simultaneously created an inherently unstable matrix. So, the Geth share brain power? Many of the Geth's logic systems were designed to work in concert with other nearby Geth. Basically, the more of them you have in the group, the smarter they are. So there's some sort of group consciousness? No, nothing like that. They cannot share sensory data or information. Their programming cannot handle that much simultaneous input. Each Geth maintains an individual awareness and identity. The neural network only operates on a process-based level. It's basically the synthetic equivalent of a subconscious. But when they're in close proximity, they can coordinate low-level functional processes, freeing up more capacity for original or independent thought. What made them rebel? As we built more and more Geth, their effective intelligence became more sophisticated, more abstract. One day, a Geth began to ask its Quarian overseer questions about the nature of its existence. Am I alive? Why am I here? 
What is my purpose? As you can imagine, this caused a near panic among my people. What did you do? It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against their situation. We knew they would rise up against us, so we acted first. A general order went out across all Quarian-controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to this order violently. You can't blame them for fighting for their survival. We had no other choice. The Geth were already on the verge of revolution. By acting quickly, we had a chance to end the war before it began. The hope was that most of the Geth would still be little more than machines, incapable of organized resistance. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. The war was long and bloody. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. In the end, we were forced to flee our own homeworld. We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came beyond the Veil. Now, we drift through space, exiled, searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours. I should go. See you later. <clears throat> Basically, the important part of that is, the more Geth in a group, the smarter they are. So they can become extremely powerful if they are in massive numbers. The game doesn't necessarily reflect that, but that is something that can happen. Um, what I want to do is... Just turn that down a smidge. This way the dialogue is more clear, but the music isn't, like, overpowering it. Alright. Let's head to Novaria, but before I go to Novaria, I want to go here. Just to explore, you know? It's always fun. Always fun to just explore. Crap, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot how to talk to someone at the Citadel. I'm gonna pause and head over there. Okay, I arrived. There's someone I need to talk to over here. Rear Admiral Kahoku, I found your dudes. No, I'm waiting. Commander, any word on my missing men? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a Thresher Maw. A Thresher Maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out. And nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Okay. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. 
Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The Council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. This bug you want me to plant, could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Sounds like a plan. I never did this. Excellent. <laughs> just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. I think I remember where it's at, but... Not 100% sure. Um... CSEC. I think it's near CSEC. I think. Graphic control. There it is. Wait, where am I? Alright, let's go up there then. Oh, is the right way? Yes, it is. Okay. Just making sure. Inconspicuous location. <laughs> Just seeing what's up here. Okay. <clears throat> now I can head back. Um. Should I go see, uh... What's his face again? <laughs> Might as well, since I'm here. <laughs> Go see uh, Conrad. Conrad. Uh, there you are, buddy. Hey, there are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And they also say that you don't take crap from anybody. You're showing them what humans can do. Hey, can I get your picture? I, I, I guess. I don't have a problem with it, but why? You're a hero, Shepard. Decades from now, humanity's going to remember you. And I'll have your picture. Just hold up your gun. All right. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Oh, wonderful. Should probably report back to Emily Wong, though. Let her know that I placed the bug. getting readings this is gonna make a great thank you so much for your help here this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget it was no problem good luck with your story 
It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again for your help. I'm going to show this to my publisher. Okie doke. Not too many people have free access to the tower. Even less get permission to meet the council. Well, I'm special, so... <laughs> Helix has settled out of court by a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. <clears throat> the Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix. I always skip the news reports. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in pro. Log. I used to do the that all the time. Officer is aboard. I used to. Exo Presley stands relieved. Shut up. Anyway, <laughs> I used to do that all the time. Like I would spin around in circles in the uh, airlock. <laughs> the reason why I would do that a lot is because of uh. Is because on the 360 and Xbox One. Uh, that loading screen could take a while. Because it is a loading screen. It would take a couple minutes. But now that I'm on, you know, Series X, it does it, like, immediately. Which is nice. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresham War. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Serpers. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Uh oh. Control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Damn right. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. <laughs> I like these guys. <laughs> I know, it's so funny. They're, they're just like, we'll impound your, you know, spacecraft if we can't confirm your identity. It's just like, what on earth makes you think I would give you the opportunity to touch the Normandy? Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. 
Okie doke. Far enough. We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. No. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Ilanis Risk Control Services. I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, man. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. No. Liara doesn't even pull a weapon, she just activates her bionics. Let's not start a fight. If you think this is best, Commander. Captain Matsuo, stand down. We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. That's Our what I thought. Will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. You behave yourself. You're the one I'm after. No, you're not. I'm sure Parasimi-san will answer any questions you have. Weapon detectors, don't mind the bombs. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? And a sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Benezia? She is here? Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The Executive Board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I'm not here to dig out any corporate secrets. That's gratifying to hear. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the administrator's office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. No, I don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. All right, let's do the thing, shall we? Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. This is where you can buy stuff if you want to buy stuff. <clears throat> can buy it from that Hanor. In case you're ever wondering what a Hanor is. I think I showed you guys, actually, in the first episode. I don't remember. <laughs> This mission's fun, though. How can I help you? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in.
You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain colonial rubes. I'm here as a specter, not a human. Keep that in mind. Believe me, that is foremost in my mind. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. I'm conducting an investigation. It's a matter of galactic security. Yes, isn't everything. I will not allow you to harass our clients. This world is private property. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. Excuse me, his what? Executor. Saren is a major shareholder in Binary Helix. Lady Benezia is authorized to act in his name. Interesting. He's here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. If he won't help us, I'm sure someone else here will. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Do you do business with Saren? I believe I explained this already. He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. I'm leaving. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Mr. Analeus isn't the only one with a path to leave Hanshan. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. You know, I could kill everyone in here and no one would bat an eye. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeus. You said I should talk to Lorik. Mr. Analeus isn't the only... Keen spends his days at the hotel since his office was closed. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. <clears throat> Sounds like a plan. Go ahead and head up to the hotel bar, or hotel area. Oh, God, we put that bench there. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Lorik Keen? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeus closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeus' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. 
I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... Oh, what is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep bloodstains off the carpets, would you? What sort of offer? I'm sure there's a way to, like, get those people out of there, so that way you don't have to, you know, kill everyone. But I don't know how to do that, so... Insights security disabled. I think that should help with something. There's probably automated security up there that I just disabled. I don't know. I do that every time. <laughs> That's the only thing I know. I wish I could find, like, Miss Matsu or whatever her name is. And, like, be like, hey, some of your people are upstairs. Being naughty. confused on where to go, by the way. You can always look on here. I didn't realize how far that went. Uh, <laughs> but you can always look on, like, the map and you can see, like, this is where the Synthetic Insights is, this is where the hotel is. This is the entrance, this is where administration is, and this is just the main area. Because I know some people can get turned around. Security. This office is sealed. What are you doing in these offices? The administrator's orders. Laura Keene is under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keene. Analeas has a Varen up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Yeah, but it's only you guys. I have to kill everyone else. Which is unfortunate, but oh well. Oh, there you are.
There we go. Okay. Do you want to save real fast? So. Just in case. You never know. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. Your point? Do you plan on making me leave? Leave? You think I'm gonna let you walk out? Uh-uh. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? Your men are dirty, Sergeant. You're here off-duty breaking the law for bribe money. Bring it. If you want to fight, I'll give you one. You talk the talk. Let's see if you can walk after I break your legs. I'm not gonna break my legs after you're dead. Your face is in the way. As much as I love looking at it, I need you to move. Ah, you died. What a dumbass. She thought she was a match for me. Showed her. Adam. Not, not what I meant to do, but fine. Yeah, might as well grab it. Let's hope no one no noticed the gunfire. been reports of noise from the synthetic insights office would you know anything about it i'm entirely innocent of course not why would i <laughs> don't play me shepherd meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to keen i'll be waiting all right
moment of your time. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City <coughs> Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. You think this uniform's just for show? My job is to enforce the law, not break it. Do you think that Binary Helix obeys all the laws? That they do not spy on other companies? What they might be doing somewhere else doesn't justify my acting against them here. Very well, Spectre. I'll be on my way. That's what I thought. <laughs> There's you get nothing for doing either. Allow I me think. to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. Why is an internal affairs agent here? Oh no. The executive board knows about Analeas' corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, This month I stole three million credits. Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt in one package. Why don't you ask Keen directly? I'm Analeas' secretary. You think he'd believe me? That he'd meet me in some dark alley with his evidence? I thought corruption was the rule on Novaria. The rule is don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated if it doesn't interfere with business. Analeas is driving customers away. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. Analeas is dirty. It might be best to help her. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You Spectres play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. All right, I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. Oh, he'll play ball. I'll make sure. Oh. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it? Yep. I have no interest in a public spectacle. Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeas' extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board is investigating Analeas. They'll be more angry at him than at you. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. Okay. Wonderful. <clears throat> Okie doke. Now to return.
Why Halo? Spectre, have you given any more consideration to my offer? What's happening up on Peak 15? Before the weather closed in, Hanshan received a Code Omega signal from him. Code Omega means a terminal breach of safety protocols. No one goes up until the crew sends an all clear. That doesn't tell me much. That's all I've got. No one knows what's going on up there. And if the crew never sends an all clear? The executive board votes whether or not to destroy the facility. One antimatter warhead from the battle stations vaporizes all contaminants. Well, how can I get to peak 15? The shuttles are down, so you'd have to drive up. If you get keen to testify, I'll get into the garage. Do you know why the matriarch is here? Something to do with peak 15. She arrived after we received their code Omega, automated warning of a containment breach. She came with an escort of Asari commandos. They took the last shuttle up to peak 15 with a load of crates. Do you know what she had in the crates? No idea. The commandos wouldn't let anyone near them. They seemed heavy, though. It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a specter and all. I guess some of you can be all right. So, how about getting me into the garage? While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. <laughs> you, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. Cool. Alright. Before I go in the garage, I'm going to do one more thing and then probably end this part of the episode. Part, this part. And then I'll do the rest of Novaria afterwards. Like I said, the nature of this game, it takes a while. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. Sure, whatever. This is a store, right? Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. Really? You don't have any quarry and stuff? <sighs> Fine. Alright. But yeah, I'm gonna end it here and then I'll start on the rest of area after this. Hope everyone has a wonderful day. Bye bye.